What's up, everybody? Sadiq Duma back here with another NBA Draft Player Breakdown. This time we're looking at Dyson Daniels, the very interesting G League prospect. Uh, last year we saw Jalen Green um, kind of pioneer the new league <laughs> and the new option for guys who don't want to go through one and done and go to college. And Jalen Green ended up obviously being the number two pick. This year it didn't really have as clear-cut a um, guy who was going to be that Jalen Green type prospect, a top five pick. Jaden Hardy looked like that very early on, but really struggled, and he faltered a little bit, maybe late first-round pick at best at this point, but Dyson Daniels has really emerged as that guy that looks like he's going to be the top prospect from this class, and with Daniels, it's more about his floor and his maturity and his just you know physical maturity, NBA readiness, and also just mentally, and how he plays the game and all, all those little things. He has very few holes in his game. And like I said, ceilings maybe not, you know, the craziest, he's not the shiftiest player, but he does a lot of things really well. And the number one thing with him with, you know, the 6667 point guard uh, apparently now, he plays that position very very well. He is a true floor general, and that's where you start with this guy, his passing. And the thing with Daniels is he's not just a um, really good passer. He's also someone who runs an offense really well uh he understands how to be floor general he understands first of all how much talent he has around him but he sets up plays well he moves without the ball and gets himself in position he keeps it flowing he pushes the ball on the break he does a lot of different things and over here we'll start with just you know his passing vision his understanding he's not you know the craziest fanciest passer but does a lot of things well uses eyes well freezes defenses and throws balls with a lot of velocity and a lot of strength and you will see that as we go along but you got Daniels up here to begin with, and just watch him hold the defense, and then as the cut comes, just snaps the ball down there. And you see from the second angle here, right, you watch Daniels, he's 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 watching this guy right here, right, to freeze that defense so that they don't fall back onto the paint. So as Daniels is staring, right, holding this dude right here, then just snaps the ball quickly, perfectly, in exactly the pocket to let his guy put the ball up. Here you can see it one more time. Got Daniel at the top of the key. As he starts dribbling, he gets his man on a cut, and it's this defender right here. Kind of falls asleep a little bit, doesn't uh, defend it, so as that slip is coming, Daniel just understands, keeps his eyes square, and little pocket pass there, and go. You see it, right? You got Daniels over here. It's this defender right here that he's basically freezing by looking toward that Guy to let his man over here get down into the paint. And right there. And this is really what I, what he does really well. Talking about the velocity on his passes, he has not only you know the feel and the understanding about pushing the break and getting the ball to his teammates as soon as he gets a rebound, something he's also very good at, but he also it also kind of speaks to his unselfishness. His ability is obviously there, but he also just has that you know, Moxie to just throw it out in person, get the get the break started. It's better for his team. Things that don't even show up in the stat sheet, whether it shows up as an assist or not, it's that ability to just push it, understand it, and play like I said, like a floor general. So you watch Daniels right here. As soon as he grabs his rebound, just watch what he does. Right, grabs it and snaps it immediately. Right, and it's perfect. I mean, you see how far he threw it, and because of that, you get an easy basket. But he does this constantly. His outlet passes are fantastic you usually talk about big men right we just talk about kevin love all the time and how good he was with his outlet passes but you watch a point guard who's averaging 7.1 rebounds a game be able to do that it's it's one of his special traits you're gonna see here again and this one's a little more subtle um you got daniels over here watch as that ball goes up grabs it and over here it doesn't even throw very far right i mean you see where he's throwing, he's throwing just right in front of his teammate. The reason you like this, again, it's the understanding. I don't need to over dribble and then launch it down the court. I already know there's all this open space right here, right? And space beyond the screen as well. So Daniel just places it out in front for his dude. And because of that, gets it and scores. And like I said, the floor general aspect, his his passing is really his, you know, his number one trade as a point guard. He operates that offense really well, and he does things very well. And like I said, a lot of maturity and just understanding, plays with a high IQ. And his scoring ability, it really comes down to mostly his driving ability, right? The shot is a little bit work in progress. Still still a pretty good shooter. The, the numbers are a little bit deceiving. Uh, but his driving ability is what really 
is getting him good right now. Not, you know, the best athlete, not an elite athlete. So profiles is a pretty good athlete, has underrated straight line speed. Uh, again, like I said, not overly shifty, not never going to be the quickest guy on the court, especially by NBA standards, but he uses size well. Uh, footwork, spin move, he attacks downhill and understands what he's kind of doing. And over here, you got Daniels right here. And this is this one I like because this really shows what he does. Obviously, you can handle the ball, run him in pick and roll sets, which he absolutely thrives in. Um, but here, he comes off a, a little curl cut, gets the ball with an advantage, and that's something he does really well, which I think will only let him help help him fit into the NBA even better. Because over here, as he's coming off this cut, right? Watch him. Uh, comes off, and from there he's got the advantage. Feels out the defense, gets off two feet, and shoots that floater. And you like that a lot because uh, for a guy who just plays with good pace, right, understands how to change speeds and everything, uh, when he gets that ball and feels it out, he takes good shots, right, off two feet. His floater's precise. It is very, very good. Great touch on that. See here one more time. Got Daniels up here. Um, as that ball comes back to him, little pick and roll set. You watch him, right, just slows down. And, again, a little, little floater, a little runner. And he does a very good job there. And, again, you talk about the changing speeds, the pace, right? Just pl just playing under control, navigating through it very well, and going. And overall, like I said, he's got that floater in his game. It's a big thing. You're going to see a spin move, which he uses a lot. But also, what I like to highlight is his power, right? When you're, when you're missing some athleticism guy and just ability to beat a guy off the dribble, you need to kind of make it up in other ways. And he shows it here with his power and his ability to finish through contact. Right, watch Daniels here. Uh, Going to be left side of the screen. Watch him as he catches it. Just keep your eyes on Daniels, right? Just just bumps the body and goes through. Lower your shoulder. You talk about the power. That's who you like. And over here, you're going to see one more time. Daniels got the ball at the top. And watch him. And this, this is something I talked about, right? The lack of athleticism. And you're going to see that right here. It's, he doesn't have the quickest first step. Has enough of it. Um, but you see him here. And just watch, right? As he's not able to beat him cleanly off, but he's keeping the body there. And just the body control, the balance as a driver, all of that to go and finish through. Right, Daniel's got the ball again. And I like this as well because he shows a very savvy ability to combine moves together. And also just understanding his lack of athleticism to a degree and makes up for it, right? Grabs a ball here. He'll go behind the back, drop step, spin move, and again, the touch to shoot on that little baby hook floater type of shot, right? And like I said, he, he keeps it all together, come back, and goes downhill very well. Over here, you got him up right here, and watch it, right? Same thing. Same thing, right? That spin, that, that's really one of his patented moves. Floater obviously got great touch on that, especially coming off two feet. But you see that spoon spin move, and he loves going to that time and time again, and very good touch on those type of shots. And another thing, you talk about 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, for, for a point guard. We've seen so many guys post up as guards, and it's become more and more of a trend um, as time has gone on. And this guy does an excellent job there. Always his head up, ready to pass, but he is a very good scorer from down there. He's got a little turnaround jumper, the baby hook you're going to see, and... Um, and he is very good in those spots. And it's something that you know, the Ignite run for him a good amount of time. And he does a good job. Right, you see him take a couple dribbles to the left. And go back to that right. Over that left shoulder, the little baby hook. He does favor that right hand uh, a lot, especially on those post-ups. But it's good ability, right? And you see him here coming, flashing toward that baseline. Grabs the ball. A couple dribbles. And then that turn around. Great touch. And like I said, shot is a little bit of work in progress, but it's not broken. And when I say a work in progress, I don't mean you know it's completely disastrous. But if you are pointing out weaknesses, this is certainly one more on that spectrum. But he's he's been inconsistent from that. But he shows good range. He shows the ability to shoot up, shoot off spot up looks. Also the ability to pull up off the dribble a good amount. And he's continuing to get better, shooting about thirty four percent. So again, like I said, needs to tighten up a little bit. But he certainly got that ability to shoot and he is a confident shooter shoots a couple of times a game um and that's that's a big thing as part of his game and you see here 
You got Daniels right here as he grabs that ball. Just stops, pops up. And when you look at his form, for the most part, the mechanics and such are pretty clean. You like his elbow, it sticks out pretty well. But his hand, his left hand, I don't love where it is. Almost looks like it's above his the ball. Um, not the highest release point, but gets it done. And you see here one more time. Dan just that ball, a pump fake, and score. And like I said, a lot of it's spot up looks where he's spreading as a floor spacer, but also he shows that ability and his pick and rolls. When you give him space, you can go under some of those picks, he's ready and willing to shoot. And that's going to be another one of those elements because when you talk, whenever you talk about guys who have a lack of athleticism, their their shooting is even more crucial because you need that to make defenses close out on you so that you can drive by them. I don't, even if you do have great athleticism, a shot can only help you more and more. But it's especially crucial. But he's got that ability. Like I said, the numbers are deceiving. I think he's a better shooter than that. And like I said, seven one point one rebounds a game. But his rebounding is, it's it's good. It's very good, no doubt about it. But it's more opportunistic than anything. Um, he's he's not the guy who's he's crashing most of the time, but he's not boxing out every time. Most of the times he's not. Uh, he's out there. He uses length and just physical traits as vertical to just go and snatch the ball out and get there. But it's opportunistic. Like when his defender is the one falling asleep, um, he's that's when he's crashing in and he's just sliding right by and slipping right by him. And you're gonna see him here as that ball goes up. Like I see, just walking in, grabs it, and then watch him as he goes down the court. All right, push transition, uh, little pick and roll, and just add in that little playmaking as as we talked about before, right? The ability, the pace, just slowing down and going. And over here, this is something you like a lot, though. Like I said, opportunistic, right? So you got Daniels up here, and as defender really kind of overbites on him Daniels just walks right past him and gets into that paint right at this point you see Daniels in that paint he's right there wide open so as this shot goes up Daniels already in position and grabs a rebound averages I believe almost close to two rebounds a game and it's because of stuff like this just understanding the IQ of oh this guy's overbitten or falling asleep so I can just get right by him you see here one more time so you got Daniels in the corner he's over here so as that ball goes up Daniels gets himself Right, hit that dude right here. If we go back a second, this dude over here, he's falling asleep. So Daniels walks right by him. Doesn't get the rebound his teammate does, but Daniels in good position for you know just to be there with some dump off or a rebound or whatever, right? So as his teammate goes up with the ball, gets it blocked. Daniels already right there. He's putting himself in good position. That's the point. And on defense, this is another place where this guy really thrives. Um, as a one-on-one -on -one defender, it's definitely a plus. He has good enough lateral quickness, the length to really contest, and plays with a high level of effort. Really does a good job overall. And um, he, he's got the versatility to defend multiple positions. You know, probably one through three, one through four, definitely. And you see it here as whenever he's defending guys, like I said, effort level is high. So you got Daniels up here, playing defense. And just watch him slide with, right? Keeps his arms up and layup misses. Here one more time. Daniel's on defense. Uh, watch him stick with. Bump bodies, contest, and miss. And something else you love. Uh, this guy's averaging 2.1 steals a game. He does a great job uh, with his length, his hands, and his instincts to really poke at the ball and and grab steals. And guys grab steals in different types of ways. He, he kind of... Pickpockets, ball handlers, but more as a help defender sneaking in, as you'll see here. You got Daniels over here. So as this dude dribbling, or rather, this dude has a ball over here. This is what I mean by instincts, right? You watch the guy with the ball. Where's he looking? He's looking that way, right? Toward um, the middle of the paint, or rather, top of the key. Excuse me. Top of the free throw line. And so Daniels, the instincts, right? To feel that. You watch Daniels right here. Watch him just sneak in a little bit go steal that ball and you see that time and time again you see over here you got Daniels over here just keeps his arms up attacks passing lane force the steal and again this is again another part we're gonna add <laughs> just the passing to see 
You got Daniels here, right? Slide in as an off ball. Or some nice touch pass. And one more time, right? You got Daniels over here. Watch him as he slides through. Just just to feel and grabs the ball and goes. You love a lot of those things. Like I said, he really gives you a lot on defense, gives you a lot on offense. His versatility is a big floor. Is a rather a big thing on both sides of the ball, which really gives him a high floor. Like I said, maturity, the physical traits, all of that. And like I say, he's never going to be an elite athlete in this league, but he's going to be more than impactful and someone who's going to be you know, an instant impact player from day one. So he's, he's a player that's gotten very interesting, probably high lottery, maybe definitely a lottery pick it looks like right now. Definitely should be the first Ignite player off the board. Um, and he, he's really he's done some, himself a good job, really risen his draft stock, and he's going to be an interesting player. But that's been the uh, breakdown on Dyson Daniels. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to go to dbl-coverage.com to check out the full scouting report on Daniels and many other guys. And I hope you all have a great day.